Hello everybody, welcome to your English lesson for today. I wanted to give you um, a little bit of a video to go alongside the resources on the Google Drive today so that you've got a little bit of support from me um, as to what we're kind of looking for in your writing today for English. It's really important to note that today's English lesson is going to go across two days. So you're going to start some of this today and then you're going to continue it tomorrow. OK, so to, please don't feel the need that you need to do it all in one day. Um, there's quite a lot here, so I really don't want you to squash it all in. OK, break it up for yourself and make it easier for yourself. OK, so. As you can see, when you go into the Google Drive, there's a document here that's called Thursday and Friday English Lesson. OK, and this is what would be on the board as you came into the classroom ready for our English lesson after break. OK, so load this up and we're going to go through this together step by step. OK, so as you can see, it says today's learning is going to be focusing on a variety of different sentence types in your writing. So the piece of writing that you're going to do starting today and finishing off tomorrow is going to include three different types of sentences. Now, these sentence types aren't new. I know that you're confident with these sentence types. We're just going to recap exactly what they mean. So I'm going to be looking for simple sentences in your writing. I'm going to be looking for compound sentences and complex sentences. And as I say, just for a quick recap, we know that a simple sentence sentence is a group of words together to talk about one thing and in a simple sentence you need to have a subject the thing that the sentence is about and a verb a doing word and sometimes these can be called a main clause or an independent clause okay a compound sentence is where we use two of those simple sentences and join them together using a conjunction. And again, I know you know what a conjunction is. Um, we'll talk a bit more about different types of words that perhaps you could use for a conjunction in a little while. OK, but we know that a compound sentence is two shorter sentences that we join together to make a to make a compound sentence. And then a complex sentence is where we have that main clause. OK, one one simple sentence that would make sense on its own. But instead of finishing the sentence there, we usually add a comma and add a dependent clause with that. So a little bit of extra information where you're thinking about the same thing, but you're giving a bit more detail. OK, and that is called a dependent clause. It wouldn't make sense on its own without without the main clause before it or perhaps after it. OK, so now that we've recapped those three sentences, I wonder if you could be a sentence detective today. I think you can. So I'm going to be asking you to have a go at doing some sentence sorting. OK, and I, I'm especially asking you to be detectives to look for simple sentences, compound sentences and complex sentences. To do this, you are going to need the document called Sentence Sort, which is in the Google Drive. So I'm just going to load it up so that you can see it. You can see there are a number of different sentences provided all about King Alfred. You guys are experts now about King Alfred from all of your research this week. And you are going to be reading through each of these sentences and you are going to decide if the sentence is a simple sentence, a compound sentence or a complex sentence and you are going to sort them. You can do this by either cutting them out and sorting them into three separate piles if, you're, if you've got a printer. You don't need to print them. You could talk about it on screen and perhaps number them okay, and sort them out that way or you could highlight them, colour code them, put a code next to each of the sentences, it's completely up to you. But what I'm looking for is can you decide which one is a simple, which one is a compound and which one is a complex. So have a go at doing that now, pause the video and come back to me when you're done. OK, so how did you get on? Did you manage to sort some of those sentences? I'm sure you did. And that will prepare you beautifully ready for your writing. Make sure you keep those sentences to hand because you could definitely use some for your writing in a little while. I'm going to go back to our um, slides for today. So now that we have been sentence detectives, we could now start to think about how we can use that in a paragraph of writing. So this is my example of a biography like you wrote earlier in the week. You wrote one on Tuesday about King Alfred. And this is a bit like that, OK, but you can see rather than giving information about his life, I've answered a question in my writing today and I've answered the question, why was Alfred called Alfred the Great? I wonder if you could have a read through my paragraph today 
And again, can you spot those three types of sentences? Can you see any examples where I've used a simple sentence? Can you see any examples where I've used a compound sentence? And can you see any examples where I've used a complex sentence? Read about loud and either say to yourself or a family member, which types of sentences can you spot? And make sure you explain how you know it's a simple sentence, a compound sentence or a co complex sentence. Pause me now and give that a go. OK, so now that you've read my example of a paragraph, hopefully you've got a really good idea about the sort of thing that I'm expecting you guys to write today. OK, so we're going to be answering that one question today. Why was Alfred called Alfred the Great? Now, I know that you've got lots of answers to this question because you did a fact hunt in school on Monday where you can use information from that. Remember, the information text for that is still in the folder for Monday if you want to refer back to it. You've also watched the video clips in yesterday's lesson. So again, those links are still there. So you can watch those again if you need help. And you also wrote your biographies on Tuesday as well. So I know you're going to be experts at this. And usually at school, before we do any writing, we always use do a little bit of planning or a little bit of practice first. And so we usually do that on a whiteboard, don't we, in school? Don't worry if you don't have a whiteboard. OK, that's absolutely fine. You could do it on a simple bit of paper. You could say it rather than writing it down. As long as you're planning your sentences by by preparing what it is you want to write, that's absolutely fine. So I've got two example sentences that will be really good here for you to be able to practice. So my blue sentence here. I'm asking sis to see if you can convert that into a complex sentence. At the moment, it's a simple sentence. It says, Alfred is remembered today for bringing peace to Britain. OK, you'll notice there's no full stop at the end there. It's got a comma at the end. So I'm asking you to see if you can include a dependent clause at the end there that will be about the same thing. However, we'll add extra information to turn that sentence into a complex sentence. I wonder what you could add. And then there's a second sentence in purple. Even though the Vikings were savage fighters, Alfred did not give up. What did he do? Perhaps you could add a little bit of extra information there also to turn that into a complex sentence. So once you've had a go at that little bit of practice, you're then going to have two sentences that will be a really good starting point to help you with your writing today. OK, and I'm looking for you to begin writing your paragraph. OK, your paragraph needs to answer the question, why was Alfred called Alfred the Great? You may choose now to stop now for today, and that is absolutely fine, ready for tomorrow. You decide how much of this writing you're going to do in one go and then continue tomorrow. OK, you're free to choose how much. If you want to finish at the planning stage today, you've done all your sorting, you've done your planning of your sentences. That's absolutely fine. OK, but the idea will be today or tomorrow, you are going to write your own sentence, your own paragraph, sorry, to answer that question. Why was Alfred called King Alfred the Great? OK, I'm especially looking for those different types of sentences in your paragraph, thinking about a mixture of simple, compound and complex. And I've popped this here. Um, this little document here on the side to remind you to use those different types of sentences. If you start your first sentence is a simple sentence, perhaps you might like to use a compound sentence next. Perhaps you might like to use a complex sentence after that. But make sure you mix it up. OK, we don't want lots and lots of the same style of sentences. Try and use different types throughout your paragraph. I also really want you to think about the way that you start your sentences. We know it's boring when we start every sentence in the same way, using his name or using he. So there's some different sentence openers that you could use there as an example to help you. OK, so by the end of tomorrow's English lesson, I'm looking for a paragraph of information all about King Alfred the Great that will explain why King Alfred was called King Alfred the Great. OK, good luck. I look forward to seeing these pieces of these pieces of writing emailed over to us. Remember, we're not expecting them today. It's tomorrow as well. And I know Mrs Lancaster and Mrs Parker are also really excited to be able to read your amazing writing. Hope that helped, guys. Take care. See you soon.